The British Thoracic Oncology Group was first established um, at a meeting in the US in San Francisco about a decade ago. We got together really with the intention of setting up an organisation that um, could encourage education and research uh, throughout uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, since its establishment, the organisation has gone from strength to strength and this year will hold its 10th annual meeting in the Burlington Hotel in uh, Dublin. The organisation now has 900 members with an e-circulation list of 1,300 people. There have been a number of really key developments within the British Thoracic Oncology Group which has helped it to foster its aims. The first have been the development of uh, national smaller meetings throughout the UK um, dealing with specific issues such as small cell lung cancer and mesothelioma. Um, the other has been our involvement with uh, NICE. Uh, the group has been uh, has taken an active part in 18 appraisals to date. Uh, the group also has developed an educational programme, a specific educational course, which will be held uh, next year in Leicester. This course is focused and targeted on uh, relatively junior doctors and uh, nurses who are moving forward in the career to um, become specialists in the area of thoracic oncology. The success of the organisation I think is best reflected in this year's coming meeting in that 199 abstracts uh, have been submitted which are a combination of audits of clinical practice uh, research outcomes and scientific research that show that the group really has had an impact um, throughout the UK and Ireland to promote improved care, to promote education, to promote a research environment, all of which will ultimately improve outcomes for patients with thoracic malignancies. This year's conference will hold a couple of new initiatives that we think will add to its quality. Um, as well as having the scientific symposium held on the Wednesday and the satellite symposia sponsored by industry, followed by the conference on Thursday and Friday, we have also included two completely new sessions. The first will be a radiation oncology educational symposium, which will actually teach um, radiation oncologists new methods for planning and treating their patients with radiotherapy. The second is to expose um, clinicians involved uh, in bronchoscopy to novel techniques uh, for investigating and biopsying their patients. These workshops will be uh, conducted on Wednesday and represent a new step forward in the educational value that we can add for people and individuals and specialists who are involved in thoracic oncology care. There will be a mixture of state-of-the-art lectures as well as specific symposia discussing various topics of patient care, a section around case studies and also presentations of the best abstracts that have been presented um, at the meeting. An overview of existing clinical trials in the UK as well as trials within Europe will be presented so that people are familiar with the principal future directions that care may take. I'm an optimist. I think that the group will be able to contribute to the international effort that ultimately should lead to longer term survival for patients, improvements in care and a more holistic approach to what we do in our day to day practices.